Estimated how tall I am. Also, sorry about the acoustics. I know just any time that I film in the bathroom, it just sounds absolutely dreadful. But it'll get better as soon as we, as soon as we get out of here. I'm also not having the best hair day today. It's probably humid outside. That's generally like my first cue that my hair is not going to be nice. Is if there's any kind of humidity outside. I don't know how people live in humid and humid places. And I even have this stuff, which to be fair, I didn't put it in my hair, but sometimes, sometimes even then, that's just, it's just not strong enough. But anyway, good morning, you guys, and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing something really fun that I am stoked about. I am so excited. Today, we are gonna be going to Santiago, Chile. I am stoked because I have never been to Deep South. Just to give you a little flight attendant lingo, a little catch up here. I have been to South America. I've been to Medellin, which you guys have seen. I've been to Bogota, which I believe you guys have seen. So I've been to South America before, but there's like flight attendant lingo. I feel like I'm wanting to be on my tippy toes just to like, <laughs> okay, hold on, let me chill. But there's kind of like flight attendant lingo that you have like South America, of course, but they also refer to like certain flights as deep south. So a lot of times deep south will be like Santiago, Sao Paulo, Brazil. What's the other one? There's one more. There's one more. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, Argentina. That's the other one. Those are like the three main ones. Every now and again, like we'll get like Rio. Those are like the deeper South America. But I never do them just simply because they're generally like four or five day trips. And I don't necessarily like to be gone that long just because I feel like that's quite a bit to um, put on ship to make him do everything, especially right now with having a puppy. Is the lighting, is that better? I don't know if that's better or worse, but just because puppies can be a lot of work and we have four dogs and he works as well. He's got lots to do. We've been getting like our house together. Our house is now rented out. So there's just been a lot going on. So I feel a little bit guilty like being gone for that long at one period of time right now. But um, Taylor got on this flight. <laughs> so obviously when my when my work spouse gets on a trip, like I have to be on the trip. Like I don't even know what it would be like to work without Taylor anymore. Like I feel like every trip that I've done recently, like we've been doing together and it's so much fun. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10 we recommend that you travel with your friends. It's a blast. It just makes like the destination so much fun. But not to mention also that it's very well known amongst the flight attendants that out of all the IPDs, Deep South is supposed to have like the best cruise. Like that's always what I hear. I, I hear that all the time that like South America and the ones that fly Deep South specifically are like the funnest cruise that you will fly with. And I wanna test that out. I need to know, are they gonna be the funnest cruise? I have some high expectations. I am stoked. I feel like this is gonna be a lot of fun. I think I squeezed a little bit too much out of this, my, my bad. Anyways, I'm excited because it's supposed to be a 36 hour layover, I believe. So it's gonna be like a day and a half where normally the IPD layovers, they're like about 20, 24, unless you get like some long ones, which is, which is a good amount of time, but I feel like you always get left wanting to do more than whenever you got there. So maybe 36 hours will be enough, probably not. But maybe it'll be enough that you actually feel like you got like a good chunk of change and some sleep on top of it. Sometimes you gotta choose one or the other. Either you're gonna explore the city or you're gonna sleep sleep your day away and catch up on the jet lag. Also, just so you guys know, um, I have a new cosmetic product that's coming out. It's probably gonna be on the next video, so stay tuned for that. I'm super, I'm super excited. It's always funny when I have like a new product coming out and I have to hide it from you guys. Like I have to film accordingly to make sure that I don't accidentally put it in the frame, or if I do that, you guys just won't, won't notice that, that it was there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my makeup and getting ready, then we have to pack up our stuff. I'm not exactly sure 
what I'm gonna pack, but the seasons are flipped. So Santiago is in summertime right now, whereas we're in winter, which in Texas, Lord only knows if this is winter or not. It really depends on the day. Some days are winter, some days are not. But anyways, I will see you guys when it's time to head to the airport. officially made it welcome to Santiago Chile so the flight went really well the crew is hysterical I was crying laughing so many times my nail is on the verge of breaking and this is like the one time I didn't bring nail glue so I just like taped it on by a band-aid and hopefully at some point we can run off to a grocery store and I can find like gorilla glue nail glue something so Taylor wanted to take a nap for I think like three hours and then we'll have like 30 minutes to get ready we'll meet up and then we're gonna hit the ground running but this hotel hotel room is so nice you guys ignore my stuff right in the hallway but straight away when you come into the bathroom I immediately love the bathroom it's like very very sleek in here and the mirror is a good size we know I've been struggling with some of these these mirrors we'll have a place for our luggage over here and the double beds I also love this headboard and this is how you know it's nice when your hotel coffee machine is an espresso and they even have like the little pods over here oh and look at this i didn't even see like the funky mirror i love this and then we have to play the game oh look at these do we have a view it's a little hard to see because the window needs some cleaning but this is very very pretty y'all all right let's go ahead and get our stuff. Uh oh, I lost a bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup off and get into my jammies and take a nice, hopefully like a three hour, at least like a two and a half hour nap and then fix all of this. I've, I've been through the ringer on this one. I mean, it looks it looks rough, so we'll we'll fix this, and I don't know exactly what we're getting into. Uh, I'm sure by the time I wake up, I'm gonna be starving, so we'll probably start out with finding a really cool restaurant. So I just finished getting ready. I woke up at 12 and I was like, for sure, I'm gonna be ready by 12.30. Y'all, it was like 12.15 and I hadn't even started. I was like still flopping around in bed, just like, I can't be bothered. So um, right now it's 1.14 in the morning. Um, I'm gonna lose the light, I'm sorry. But um, so I'm getting my, my bag together and then I'm gonna go over to, to Taylor's room and I'm hangry. I am so hungry. So I feel like that's gonna be like the first stop is finding somewhere to eat. So. So this is going to be our fit today. I actually just got these pants at Target. They're so flowy and big and comfortable and I love them. I'm kind of obsessed with them. And then also my bags from H&M. Shirt is Primark to absolutely nobody's surprise at all. Also look at the camera. Look. Look, do y'all notice something? I got the wide lens fix. So after Maui, I went home, I cleaned everything all up. I got some like gooby gone or like whatever that stuff is called. And then I stuck like a new adhesive and I got it all, all situated on there. So let's pray. I'm gonna put this in my bag. I'm gonna take the tripod off that it doesn't fall off again. I brought the adhesive with me, but obviously like I'm not gonna be traveling with like gooby gone. So let's, let's hope, let's hope this one's gonna hold out on us. So to kick off our adventure of Santiago, the first thing we wanna do was find a food spot. Now food is one of those special things that really allows you to get an inside look into a culture. It's one of the things I really appreciate. So Taylor and I decided just to wander around and see what we bumped into. So we found this restaurant that was a completely open windows, open dining kind of floor plan. It was really cool inside. It even had this place that you can hang your bag on, which I've never really seen this at a lot of restaurants, but people need to get on this. So we decided to get like this appetizer cheese board that we saw the people next to us get 
getting, as well as some Prosecco. When I tell you that the freshness of all of the ingredients are just absolutely unmatched, I mean it. And then after that, we decided to go walk over to the mall. So the mall here is absolutely massive. It's so huge. And of course, we weren't gonna come to a mall and not do a little bit of shopping. So we were trying to look around to see if we could find somewhere that I could actually get nail glue so I could fix my nail. And to my surprise, we were in luck. We actually did find somewhere. But the real reason we came to the mall is because Taylor said that there was this restaurant that we had to check out. She said they have the best smoothies she's ever had before. Now, I'm not gonna lie, they weren't my favorite. I'm so sorry, Taylor. They weren't my favorite. It was the mint. It has like a mojito kind of flavor to it. But then after that, we decided to go walk over to the Jumbo, which is the grocery store. And it's funny, as soon as you walk in, you immediately already see like the German influence that is in South America. But the grocery store did not disappoint. It was absolutely massive. It was very busy, but there's still a ton to look at. So we did a little bit of grocery shopping, picked up some energy drinks, and then headed over back to the hotel. So I don't have long to talk because we just got back to the hotel after a, like a full day of eating, talking, shopping. It was so much fun. But right now it's 635 and we are meeting the entire crew downstairs at seven to do dinner together and maybe a little karaoke. We saw a karaoke spot and we were all joking earlier that we were gonna do karaoke. So we might be able to con them into doing some karaoke, but I don't have long to get ready. So I'm basically just trying to find like what I'm gonna wear. So we went to this Peruvian restaurant called Ica. I would highly recommend if you are in Santiago, please go here. We started with some rolls and a yogurt sauce with some butter. And then we also ordered ceviche for the table. So we had like two or three different kinds of ceviche and it was so amazing. It was buttery, fresh, acidic. And then I also ordered a shrimp and potatoes dish for dinner. And we finished the night off with a little bit of karaoke. Good morning, you guys. I forgot to set an alarm and then I closed those blinds and that was it. It was lights out. So right now, I think it's like 1045. I kind of wanted to see like the infamous, like the Virgin Mary statue or we were looking at a few different daytime tours. I'm not sure if we're still gonna do that or not because our showtime isn't until late. Like I think our showtime is eight o'clock tonight. The only thing also here that I was a little worried about just because I'm still pretty sunburned, I'm peeling, is that it's like summertime over here. So it's very hot. So one of the things about doing those tours or doing the hike up to the Virgin Mary is you have to be ready to do it really early in the morning. Otherwise you're probably gonna burn to a crisp, which I did bring sunblock and I did put it on yesterday. I kind of winging it, but I just went over to Taylor's room to wake her up because I can sleep, but Taylor can out sleep me. First and foremost, I think we're gonna find a food spot because I am starving. I'm so hungry. All the food here so far has been amazing. Like amazing, blown away. The Peruvian restaurant that we went to yesterday was absolutely fabulous. I was kind of shocked by how great that was. We had like ceviche for the table that everybody split. And then also we each got our, our own dishes. And I did like a shrimp dish and it was just like, oh, I'll probably have dreams about that. That's the one part about traveling that it's like, it's that bittersweet moment where it's like really cool that you get to go and do all of these things. But sometimes every now and again, you eat food that just connects with you and then you like crave it and crave it and crave it. And it's nowhere that you can actually go and have it. So far, Santiago has been amazing. It has been a blast. The karaoke last night is hysterical. I was like crying, laughing. We were all participating. It was so funny. This crew is phenomenal. They're all such a who. I don't know what's going on with this. I already saw, oh no, there's curls underneath. Y'all, I miss my Dyson Airwrap. I really do. It's It sucks when I go on places that I can't bring my Dyson because of the different voltage, which I'm not sure. I think this one is a different voltage from the States. I really don't know because this is a dual voltage, but I tried to look it up before hand to see like what the voltage was was here and I think it's opposite of the state so I was a little bit concerned I was gonna bring my Dyson and it wasn't gonna work and I might be eating my words later maybe my Dyson would have worked here I'm, I'm not sure but I might take the plunge and try to buy a Dyson next month when we're when we're in Germany with 
the other outlets and I'm, I might just have to do that because I'm just obsessed with that thing. I love how easy it styles my hair with absolutely zero work. With zero work, my hair just looks professionally done. And even though it is a pretty penny, it's a pretty penny for a hair tool. I personally feel like it's worth every single buck, especially because with my hair texture, a lot of hair tools just don't, don't make the cut. They just, they just don't. I don't know, should I do a full face of makeup or should I just like throw something together? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know the vibe yet, but I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I guess we're gonna go find somewhere to eat that is hopefully just as amazing as everything else has been. Mm -hmm. 